by the week, my opinion changes of them. And Ryan Tannehill has not played very well through most of it. And I feel like he's kind of held them back a little bit. That being said, like everyone else in this division, they're two and two. So, you know, with Derrick Henry starting to get his legs under him and with um, their defense playing very well, Mike Rabel, I'll give them a C plus because of how Ryan Ryan Tannehill has played very poorly. But can they turn things around and still get some some wins rattled off? Absolutely. So I'll give them a C plus. But uh, this is a, a a team in progress for me. Yeah, definitely a team in progress that was teetering on a rebuild coming into the year. But their defense is clearly still good in moments. And I think their defense will continue to build, I believe, in Mike Vrabel as a coach. So this team should continue to get better, piece it together with D-Hop if Traylon Burks can step up as well here. So Titans, I give them a B minus. You give them a C plus. Mm -hmm. And then the surprise team of the NFL so far, new head coach in D'Amico Ryans. He goes out there, trades for a top five pick with the Cardinals, goes out there, gets Will Anderson goes out there and gets CJ Stroud. CJ Stroud has been one of the most impressive rookie rookies in a long time. I feel like coming in, you want to talk about an NFL ready guy and then struggling in the first two weeks, staying steady and then winning two blowout games against potential playoff teams. Definitely a dynamic defense in Pittsburgh. And then your division rival in the Jacksonville Jaguars winning a tough game on the road, winning your first home game since 2021. With all of that said, I have to give them an A here because just with expectations, they were still supposed to be one of the worst teams in the league. They're undermanned still on offense, and Mm. they are making the most out of the talent on that roster right now. So as far as expectations and where they set themselves up to be in the future, have to give them an A. Yeah, I have to agree there. I'm going to give them an A as well because CJ Shroud, you know, first quarterback in history as a rookie, 300 plus passing yards and no interceptions to start quarterbacks in that company are Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, Drew Brees, Aaron Rodgers, and Patrick Mahomes, arguably, you know, at least of this last generation, the five best quarterbacks of all time. So you're in a pretty great class at that point, no interceptions for a, for a rookie. That's unheard of, especially with some of the other quarterbacks that have come out in the previous years. Not only that, when we looked at this team to start, we're like, this offensive line isn't very good. You know, we like Damian Pierce, but like, who are these weapons that he has around him? Suddenly, we're like, oh, Tank Dell's not so bad. Oh, John Michi's starting to step up. Oh, okay, Nico Collins, he's not so bad. Dalton Schultz. And then on the defensive side, you went out, you traded your first round pick for this upcoming year. The Cardinals have it. And Will Anderson has been worth it to this point. He's making huge plays for that defense. He was all over the game in the Steelers game. And I think they're only going to continue to get better. So RIP the Cardinals for that draft, that draft trade, because it looks like they could be a pretty goddamn good team. Yeah. So overall, um, some mixed grades. The only team that gets an A here so far is the Houston Texans. Colts are surprising. Titans, it kind of changes week to week, but I expect them to get better as the season goes along. And then the Jaguars got to step up. 